even as Abraham believed God and it was accounted unto him for righteousness. We're saved by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the only way we're saved. And the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith preached before the gospel unto Abraham saying, in thee shall all nations be blessed. And what I want you to under, underline, first he says that we would justify through faith in this chapter, he says he preached before the gospel unto Abraham. Now, when did he preach the gospel? I thought the gospel started in the book of Matthew. No, the gospel's always, always been around. Good news is the gospel. We're saved by faith. He says, I preached before the gospel. He preached the gospel to Abraham before the Galatians had it? Yeah. You know, he preached it before in Genesis chapter 12, where we were just at. When he made these seven promises, that last promise was of Christ that all families of the earth would be blessed. But there's the picture again of the gospel that God would send his son to die for our sin. He preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. The promise of Christ to come, all families, every, all person, everybody in the world is blessed by that fact. And there he built an, built an altar unto the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. Now, I just want to lay this out. Calling upon the name of the Lord. We are not saved by simply saying a prayer. However, the Bible uses this phrase of calling upon the name of the Lord to be synonymous of trusting Christ for salvation. We saw it in Genesis chapter 4. We see it in chapter 12. We'll see it again in chapter 13. We'll see it other places. We see it in the New Testament. We see it in Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 22. We see it in Romans chapter 10. And it's synonymous with somebody believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. If you've trusted on the Lord and you understand He's offering that gift, you're going to talk to Him. You're going to, you're going to ask Him if you will. I'm not adding a condition to salvation. We're saved by faith. If you believe in that, you're saved. Whether or not you worded a prayer at the moment that you got it, you get saved at the moment in your heart. But Romans 10 adds this information. It is very important. This is why when we preach the gospel to somebody, it's confrontational evangelism. We persuade them. We compel them. We should ask them to call in the name of the Lord. Now, there are many naysayers today. Oh, the Bible doesn't say a sinner's prayer. Well, no, it doesn't word out a sinner's prayer for us. However, we're given an example from the beginning to the end that those that trust in the Lord will call in the name of the Lord. And I, if somebody says they believe in the Lord, I say, well, then if you really believe this, you're already saved. Let me help you. Tell God right now that you get it, you believe it, and you want to be a child of God. Let's get your name in the book of life by faith. There's nothing wrong. In fact, I think it's very important for us at that moment to call upon the name of the Lord. And this has become a controversial issue where you have people on both sides of the camp. There's a guy in town over here, and he says if you're telling people to pray when they get saved, then that's a sin. Well, he's wrong. There are other people, I know another guy out in Colorado, wherever, and he says if you don't say a prayer, you're not saved. Both of these guys are wrong. I believe if you really get it and you're saved, you're not going to have a problem because in that same context, he says if you're not ashamed. If you're not ashamed, sometimes people are, oh, there's people around. I'm just not ready now. Well, listen, you should. And if you're not praying now, I suspect something's wrong, but that doesn't mean you're not saved because it is a heart condition. Salvation is not mouthing a prayer. It's not saying particular words. There's nothing magical about a prayer. Salvation is by faith what you trust in your heart. And we should have people call upon the name of the Lord. That's a biblical concept.